Hey, when do I get my Rodimus star? I think I've earned it. Hey! What's up, my peoples? Mgo here, the freaking geek himself, and today we will be reviewing the Flame Toys of Fudai model, IDW Rodimus! So here we are, and there he is, and first and foremost, as always, we'll take a quick look at the packaging right up front here. We have a lovely piece of artwork of Rodimus there, all flames and stuff, and battle and action and things. Model kit, Rodimus IDW version, Transformers. On this side of the box we have Rodimus. On this side of the box we have just more of the picture. Here, Transformers, Rodimus. Up top, Transformers, Rodimus. On the back of the box we have your obligatory product shots. That, that, they, they, do, da, boom. Warning, don't eat anything in the box that could be very bad for you. And that's basically it for the packaging. And moving right along here, we have Rodimus as he looks in the IDW comic books. And yes, this is a model kit. You get a bunch of these, you cut the pieces out, you snap it all together, and then you end up with this lovely figure right here. So let's get in close. We can take a look at his chest, at his noggin. There's the noggin. You can see, very... Nice head sculpt there. You got the nice metallic blue for the eyes. It's silver here for the head crest. It is a sticker. You do get a couple stickers for this kit. Yes, I know there are nubs and all that. I don't care. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Autobot symbol right here. And you get this side detailing. This little black here and the black up in here. Those are stickers as well. And of course, I mean, it's a model kit, as always. If you want to use the stickers, use the stickers. If you don't want to use the stickers, you want to paint it up, go ahead and paint it up. That's the beautiful thing about model kits is the level of customization and finish is really up to you. Um, do as much as you want, do as little as you want. But either way, once it's all said and done, I think it looks quite, quite good. Even straight out of the box, you know, if you just if you just put together the kit straight out of the box as is without doing anything extra to it, just like I do, um, I still think it looks amazing. You got the Rodimus booty, you got the wings back there. It's overall very cool looking. I'm a sucker for the uh, comic book design, so I had to get this one. Definitely had to get this one. But yeah, really, really nicely done. Now, articulation-wise... The head is on a ball joint, so you have your wiggly waggly. The neck is also on a hinge as well. That can move up and down, so you can get, you know, a little bit of squirrel. You gotta get a little squirrel. Head, of course, can rotate. Just want to be careful with the uh, collar there, but the head can rotate. Arms can rotate. They can do a full 360. He has big shoulder pads, but you can totally get those arms to go all the way around. You have inward and outward movement. Um, you don't have any real forward and back. Um, the shoulder pad itself can wiggle around a little bit. You have bicep rotation, you have a nice deep elbow bend there, you have wrist rotation, uh, you have the upper torso is on a ball joint, you have all your wiggly waggly, crunch, arch, as well as the waist itself, you have rotation there, and you also have some forward and back movement there for an even deeper ab crunch, and some wider arching. Um, these little hip pieces here, or on a hinge that can move up and down just to get out of the way of the legs. The legs can move forward that far. You can do the big boot back that far outward. You can get about that far. The hips can shift up and down. You know, and they'll give you that little bit of extra range of movement there. Um, we do have thigh rotation. The rotation is like right up there at that hip. You do have a nice deep knee bend and the feet. They can move up, they can move down a little bit. You have rotation and you have your ankle tiltage and the heel. Heel piece can also move up and down if you need it to. Nothing at the toe though, but yeah. And then also uh, the backpack, the wings here are on hinges. So you can kind of angle those back or forward as much as you want. Now, as far as accessories go, um, you get some optional hands. The ones that are on here right now are the closed fist, but you do have a pair of splayed open no hands. That's what I always call them. 
you get a pair of those. You also get a pair of weapon holding hands. You do have to take the hands apart to put the gun in. And here is one that already has the gun in it. You can see you have his rifle here just done in gray. And it can split apart into two guns if you want. Which is pretty cool. So you can pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. And all that good stuff. It just connects like that. And you can just swap the hands out. They just pop right out. And pop that right in. And again, pew pew bang bang, pew pew bang bang. And all of that good stuff right there. So there you have that. And now for comparison. Uh, here he is with Earthrise Prime. Just so you can get a sense of scale here of this kit. Here he is with the Mastermind Creations, Rodimus. So you can see how that works out. And with some of the other Fudai models, here he is with Starscream and Bumblebee. With Prime and Prime. With Drift and Devastator. And with IDW, Prime, and Megs. So, there you go. So there you have the Fudai model Rodimus. And yeah, I say this every time I review one of these kits because it doesn't stop being true. I love these kits. I think they're really well done, um, really fun to put together. And you end up with a super cool, fully posable action figure when it's all said and done. And um, yeah, I absolutely love these. Love them, love them, love them. Keep making them, I'll keep buying them, so. <laughs> There you go. Now you can get these food eye model kits from BigBadToyStore.com. As always, linked in the description down below so you can check that out. You can also check out my food eye model playlist for any reviews you may have missed. Also linked in the description down below so you can check that out as well. And I think that's it. So don't forget to check out M Games. Check out Love Peace Paranormal. Follow me on Twitter. All of that good stuff down in the description below. And I think that's pretty much all there is to say. So there is the Flame Toys Fudai Model IDW Rodimus. And this is M Go saying, remember, you don't stop playing because you grow old. You grow old because you stop playing. Be geek. Be proud. Boom in your face. Rodimus? Optimus? So, how are things going? Oh, things are going great being the captain of my ship. Go, Captain! Oh, you know what? Don't listen to him. Don't. He's Megatron. He lies. He's a liar. It's what Megatron does. You know. You, you, you know. You know what's funny? I'm inclined to believe him. Are you kidding me?